What's up guys? So this is gonna be the first video of this vlogging series where I'm gonna run you through my fat loss phase. And we're starting this week with 2,700 calories, 200 grams of protein as a minimum. And I'm gonna run you through my training, supplementation, all that type of shit. I just did a bit of a, a grocery haul now, so I'm gonna show you some of the food sources that I'll be using to fit my macros. Now I'm only gonna be tracking calorie intake and protein minimum. I'm not gonna be sticking to a strict carbohydrates and fats ratio because it's just not needed, particularly at this point of the fat loss phase also. If you guys wanna see more about the ins and outs of the nutrition side of things, you can watch the free nutrition masterclass, which is in this library somewhere. I'm sure you'll find it. Let me know if you've got any questions, but I'm gonna run you through some of these food sources now. Um, and I'm just gonna vlog kind of bits and pieces throughout the week and probably put up a weekly vlog. Um, but let me know what you guys wanna see throughout this fat loss phase. All right, here is some of the stuff we picked up today. First of all, I'll show you my protein sources. So I've got some chicken breast, I'll be using eggs. We have Greek yogurt, so the Yopros or the Chobanis are fantastic. Uh, what else we got? We got some cans of tuna as well. I don't really like it that much, but really good source of protein and super easy, obviously. And then we also have protein. So Oxyway and the Isopet protein as well. I probably won't be using the blessed gains one just because the calories are a little higher um, and I'm obviously about to go into a deficit. Now, what else have we got? We've got some no sugar Gatorades just for hydration and they just taste good. Easy to get a bit more fluid in. Some bananas. Uh, what other fruits? We will get some apples as well. I didn't get them today. Mixed berries, which I'll use for smoothies and oats and stuff. LCMs, which are awesome for before you train because they're nice and um, fast digesting carbohydrates. Super easy. Um, rice cakes for carbs. We've got some green veggies and then cereals. So I love oats, so protein oats, which I'll, I'm sure I'll show you guys myself making those throughout the fat loss phase. Rice puffs or rice bubbles, I've been making like a protein cereal. Otherwise, this Epic Crunch, which is a really good high protein cereal as well. We have the burger thins, which we'll use for things like egg sandwiches or once I cook up some kangaroo burgers and stuff at some point. We've got rice. I, just, I prefer long grain white rice over brown rice. Um, and in the end of the day, that's all you really need to worry about is the calorie intake and the carbohydrate intake if you're getting your fiber from somewhere else, which I will be. We have best ever butter popcorn. Um, this is a really good low calorie snack. What else have we got here? Oh, low calorie ice cream, which has also got a decent amount of protein in it as well. So there's uh, typically either have Halo Top or Tilly's. And what else do I need to show you guys? That's about it really. Oh, and then for a lot of my main meals, I'll be using My Muscle Chef. So My Muscle Chef meals are awesome, so convenient, a, a massive variety of different meals. So I'll be using My Muscle Chef because I am super busy at the moment. And then we've stocked up on some Pepsi Max, the vanilla flavor and just a regular flavor as well. So that is just some of the food sources that I'll be using in this first week of the fat loss phase. All right, first things first, I've got to start with the shit that we don't want to do. Cold shower. Every single morning, first thing out of bed, start the day uncomfortable. All right, I wanna show you guys the subs I'm having this morning. So I've got Armor Force, this helps with immune system, vitamins and minerals and all that shit. Testo Jack, so Tonkat Ali, I have this every single day to help increase natural testosterone. Lion's Mane, spray that uh, in the mouth. I usually do about four or five sprays in the morning um, before I start some work to help with mental clarity and, and uh, cognitive ability. Cognitive, can't even say it, so that spray should help. Uh, fish oils, I've got two scoops of sour green apple pride along with five grams of creatine monohydrate inside here. Once I finish this one, I'll refill that bad boy up and chuck in a scoop or two of the pineapple BCAs to help rehydrate in the morning and then we get stuck into the day. Guys, one of the most simple yet effective approaches you can take to your calorie intake is thinking of it like a financial budget and you need to spend it in a way that is going to suit you and your current lifestyle. So 
If you know that you work long days and every time you get home at night you're absolutely fucking starving and you feel like you can't eat as much food because you're going to go over your calories or because you just feel guilty about eating too much, then you can distribute your calorie intake throughout the day to suit you. So for me personally, I don't get that hungry in the morning. So I typically skip breakfast or I might have a protein shake or something early in the day. I'll have a moderate sized lunch and maybe another protein or, or small snack in the afternoon. And the majority of my calories are backloaded towards the end of the day because that's when I'm usually the most hungry and, and after a long day of work and I get home, I like to have a high amount of carbohydrates and protein and all that stuff. So I backload my calories towards the end of the day to suit me. Now the results are exactly the same, if not better, because you're actually going to stick to it. All right, I got to show you guys this meal I've been making lately. So in a protein shaker, so I just shaked it up with these um, new DK shakers. If you guys want one, there's a link in the notes below. But I've got one scoop of peanut butter puffs oxy whey protein with a little bit of water. We have one serving of Halo Top ice cream. Shake that shit up. And then obviously we've got 60 grams here of rice puffs or rice bubbles. I then put on 20 grams of peanut butter and then topped it off with a little bit of this sugar-free chocolate fudge. And this meal is so fucking nice. High carbs, high protein, well, relatively high carbs, and obviously a little bit of fat from the peanut butter. It tastes delicious and very filling. What is up, guys? It is about 6.30 in the morning. Um, it's Friday today. And I'm um, just heading into the podcast studio. I am chatting with the founder of Whoop today, Will Ahmed. Um, this is an episode that we've tried to lock in for like some time now. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I've kind of told you guys on the podcast a bunch of times, so I don't do much prep for the episodes. Now, that comes off the wrong way sometimes. Like I do a lot of prep in terms of really understanding as much as possible about my guests. I just don't like to have a heap of questions written out, otherwise it turns into like a Q&A and and you do not listen to the answers. So I probably do a little extra uh, prep for this one, to be honest, to make sure that I, you know, made the most of this time with Will and also to make it a, a memorable podcast. I always try and ask questions that these guests wouldn't get asked on every other show that they do as well. Um, but it's fucking freezing in Melbourne this morning and um, I'm really excited for this one. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. I might put up one of the clips in this video from the actual episode. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. Um, and I hope you guys are having a fucking great week. It's been a really good week so far of the, the first week of the shred. Um, calories and stuff has been super easy. Training's been good. Um, it's just been a really busy work week. So uh, we're gonna finish off nice and strong. In a weird way, Failure has been romanticized to the point where it sounds like it's a great end state. Overcoming a fear of failure is different than embracing failure. A lot of successful people give this advice of embracing failure. I think as a way of telling people it's okay to not be afraid to fail. But I don't think that the goal is failure. I think the goal is success. You don't want to start a company and have it fail. You want it to succeed. You want to win, right? Like you want an outcome that is exciting and dynamic and you create products and services for people that deliver value. Like that's what you want. What will stop you from achieving that is being afraid of failing. And so I, I do believe encouraging people to get over that fear is so important. All right. So the proteins of choice that I'm using at the moment is the isopept strawberry flavor, which tastes exactly like Nesquik. We've got the peanut butter puffs, oxy whey. I really haven't been using the blessed gains at the moment, but I'm having at least kind of one or two scoops a day just to help me reach my protein minimum. So guys, this past few weeks has been, you know, some of the most challenging weeks that I've had in a long time, but in such a good way. And it has all come down to me being willing to invest into myself with both time and money. But at the same time, it's it's really come down to me just leaning into a, a high level of discomfort and uh, resistance and a really unfamiliar territory in order for me to come out on the other side of it with a lot of growth and expansion and and way better off for it. So I've probably never worked harder than I have in these last couple of weeks. We've, we've got a new company that's launching in December. Um, I've done some restructure to my online business and there's been a bunch of different things that I've been doing. But the main lesson I want you guys to take away from this is that lean into the discomfort. That's where all the growth and the change happens. Uh, and on the other side of that 
is a really, really, really good outcome and a good feeling for you guys. Muscle Chef meals have just arrived, so about to head down, grab the meals, which will stock us up for the next couple of weeks. Show you guys some of the meals that we get. Super convenient, or tastes awesome, always fresh, um, and just make life fucking easy, particularly when you're in a calorie deficit. All right, let's run through a few of these bad boys. We always stock up on these protein muffins, which taste amazing. We've got some black pepper beef, um, naked fajitas, Asian chili chicken. Uh, what's this one? Thai peanut chicken noodle stir fry. This loaded mac and cheese is one of my favorites at the moment. It tastes incredible. Chicken schnitzel. Uh, we've got beef stroganoff. What else? We ordered a lot of stuff this month, just purely because we're in this deficit, it makes it so much easier. Mongolian beef, uh, another stir fry. Smoky chicken and barbecue, or smoky barbecue chicken. So we're gonna stock up the fridge now, but these meals are a game changer, and I predominantly have these for lunches throughout the week, and sometimes dinners too, but the macros are awesome. Calories are really good. You can get low calorie meals as well. I typically choose the higher ones because I don't eat as many meals, but, Thank you, my muscle chef. So there's a big misconception that carbohydrates are bad for you, all right? People think that they're gonna stop them from losing fat, they're gonna make them gain fat, but it couldn't be further from the truth. But let me explain to you how people come to this conclusion. So let's say we've got someone who's not tracking their food, probably eating like shit, too many carbohydrates, too much fat, not enough protein, and they decide, fuck it, I'm gonna lose some weight, see some results. They cut out carbohydrates completely, and within a week or two, they've seen some pretty fast results albeit not being the results that we want to see. Now, the reason is not because you got rid of carbs. The reason is because you removed a macronutrient group, which was a fuckload of calories from what you were eating before. So you've just removed a heap of calories and put yourself in a deficit. Being in a calorie deficit is the only way that any diet works. So carbohydrates are not bad. If you had done the same thing, put yourself into that deficit and still ate carbs, you would see the same results. So don't be afraid of carbohydrates. Instead, Make sure you're eating in a calorie deficit, sticking to your calorie target, eating a protein minimum, and don't worry about what your carbohydrates and fats ratio is, because it's not going to stop you from seeing results. For anyone who watched my podcast episode with Belinda a few weeks ago, if you haven't already, um, you can watch it, it's on this channel. There uh, should be a few videos below this one. Now, this is the RE3 ice compression brace. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, which is not fucking working out too well. But I'm gonna chuck this bad boy on now. I'll show you what it's like when it's on. But I'm gonna wear this just for 20 to 30 minutes before I go to sleep tonight. Um, also about to chuck on my blue light blocking glasses as well. Just because I'm still gonna be on my screen and as you guys will see in the Whoop podcast coming out this week, blue light blocking glasses are really good for before bed to start to allow your brain to switch off and, and slow down a little bit before you go to sleep. And ironically, this room is fucking filled with blue light, but I don't think that's how it, actually how it works. But anyway, chuck these on. These are really good, particularly for those that are using their phones or watching TV and stuff. I'm just watching a podcast with Lewis Howes and Dr. Joe Dispenza, and then it is time to sleep. Russ Man's already taken my spot. Hey buddy. Anyways, RE3 brace, the best. Okay, so this is the ice brace. It fits nice and snug. It stays cold for ages. Russ man likes it. And um, yeah, I'll keep this on just for about 20, 30 minutes before sleep. Finish watching this episode. And then uh, we've got a new week to start. So I've actually had a lot of questions lately about journaling, right? And how you should do it, how it's most effective, how long you need to spend on it. So. In these journals I got made up, I, there's probably about 10 of them left at the moment, but I'll have to order some more. This is kind of how I structure mine. I'll have daily goals or intentions you can think of this as. I'll have things that I'm grateful for. I'll tick off whether or not I did my meditation. And then typically I'll have like a journal prompt. So I'll put a link in this video for 30 days of free journal prompts. And just basically asking yourself a certain prompt, setting an intention and making sure that you're going about your day with intent now. I may as well plug these uh, new shakers I just got because they're fucking cool. Um, remove all this shit. And I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, I cannot do this shit with one hand, hang on. All right, here they are. So stainless steel, 
they're like a matte black. The logo and stuff actually came out really good. I only ordered like 50 of them, to be honest, because I wasn't sure what the quality was going to be like. But these bad boys are awesome. Keep your shake or whatever you got in there nice and cool. Easy to clean because this bottom part comes off as well. But super happy with this purchase. And if you guys would like to pick one up, there'll be a link in the show notes. All right, week one done of the shred. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, let me know what you want to see more of. Probably already lost a little bit of body fat this week, to be honest. Um, but the initial few weeks, initial first few weeks of a, a calorie deficit, I typically just drop in a bit of water weight. You'll lose a bit of fat as well, depending on how low your calories are. But I'll put up a picture over here of um, my first progress photos. And I'm just going to keep track of those as we go throughout this fat loss phase. But yeah, whatever you guys want to see, please do let me know and I'll put them in these vlogs. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Um, I'll do, I'm going to basically do one vlog a week. So I'll do another one starting tomorrow, Monday morning and show you guys what goes into the week. And I'm going to try and get a bit more footage. This week was just so fucking busy that I, I pretty much just forgot most days to, to even get footage. If I sound like I'm lisping, it's because I got my uh, Invisalign back in. I had Invisalign maybe, I had it a year ago and I had to keep the Invisalign in for 12 months. And then after I got my teeth kind of, uh, what was it, resin bonding and, and all that type of stuff. And there's a wire down the bottom, but you still meant to wear them at night. And I haven't been wearing them lately. And I noticed that my teeth are already starting to move. So got them back in. But if you're in Melbourne, go and see Dr. Fatty at the Richmond Dentist. Anyway, don't know why I just mentioned that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed the video.